this video that I make is to bring glory and honor to Father God, Lord Jesus, Joshua Mashiach, and the Holy Spirit residing within us, the Rock Kadesh. Hey, brothers and sisters, um, I got some I want to really share with y'all. Um, I was told this, and I haven't shared it with many. I, you know, but this is spiritual meat. Be warned, this is spiritual meat. What I share here is not spiritual milk by far, but spiritual meat. In this video, I listened to, a, I watched a video on YouTube, and um, and I watched this video. And when I watched it, I knew when 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 the Lord told me this, I was still in Florida. You know, it's been like a good month or two since he shared this with me. And I want to share it with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, this is spiritual meat. It's about the war in heaven. Um, you know, the Lord, you know, it's with me and Jesus, it's a friendship, you know. Um, it's a friendship, you know. Um, for a lot of people, you know, when it comes to Jesus, he's their Lord. But with me, it's a friendship. Um, what I share here is the truth. I'm not trying to add to it, take away from it. It's about the war in heaven. Um, and, you know, when the Lord opened my spiritual ears, he, um, when he opened my spiritual ears, you know, it's, it's, it's a joy to hear him. It's a joy to hear Father God, Jesus, you know, and, um, you know, and I never forgot, I used to ask him when he opened my spiritual eyes, but when I think about it now, I'm glad he didn't. And he purposefully did not. If it's anything like I really would like to know about heaven, this and that, he would bless it where I could see it. But when it comes to like me seeing in the spirit where I could see a spirit, like I see my phone in front of me or like I could see my hand or, you know, he that's something he, you know, um, I hate to say it, the only time I would, you know, um, but let's move forward. You know, I, there was instances, uh, you know, where I seen, you know. Uh, you know, Andrew, as it took me up and we shot out in orbit, you know, you know, when I seen this outline. But I tell you plain. Um, I'm honestly kind of glad he didn't open my spiritual eyes. I was watching this video and. Um, I was. And. When I watch this video, I'm gonna post it. You know, I um, it was about this girl being possessed and this demon just like, just you know, just you know, it was just like, why did it, you know? And it was just like, I hate you all because you got a chance to go to heaven. You could go to heaven. It's so beautiful. I didn't know what pain was until I got kicked out of heaven. You know, and and and, and when I was watching this, I didn't feel sorry for the, for the, for no demon. I don't even now. But when I was watching this, I felt this like sadness come over me. Like, and it's not my sadness, you know, but sadness coming over me. And um not my sadness. But I felt like I could cry, you know, and um and Jesus was telling me, you know, after this video, Raymond, the sadness you was feeling was mine and that of the angels. You know, and um you know, man, you know, when it comes to us, we just think, hey, you know, when it came to the war in heaven, you know, what happened? You know, like, you know, Lucifer said he wanted to take over heaven. All right. You know, so did the angels. And so, hey, we want to we want to, you know, we want to take over heaven. And it's just like just God just booted them out the kingdom. And that's it. No. No. Everything that it led up to that and before that. It took years. And Lord Jesus was, and I could tell Lord Jesus was with me. And and this is a servant of the Most High, one that's assigned to me. You know, I was just, you know, and Jesus would speak to me, you know, she, you know, he would say things and, and she would talk, you know. And um, 
And she was telling me about this war in heaven. And, you know, and, I, and I'm like, and Jesus is like, I want you to, you know, he wanted me to pay attention. So all I wanted to do was listen. And as, and, and, and as he was listening, when, whenever someone tells me the truth, I could see it. It's like, you know, I can't explain it. But I could see it. Like if someone doesn't tell me the truth, I can't see it. I can't picture it. I can't. But if someone tells me the truth, I can see it. You know, I, I can't explain it to you, you know, like, um. but like if someone tells me the truth, I could see it. I can one plus one is two. See it. But when someone doesn't, I can see that I, I can't see it. And, um. And I was talking with one of the servants of the Most High assigned to me. And when I talk to my servants, of the, when I talk to the servants of the Most High assigned to me, I don't, I don't, I don't praise them. I don't give them praise. You know, I only person that deserves the praise is Father God, Lord Jesus. You know, I just listen because we all servants and um, spiritual meat. Those of you who can understand this and accept this, okay. Those of you that can't, nothing personal. I don't hold it against you. I don't. This is spiritual meat. This is stuff that comes with time. You know, I couldn't receive this back at 22, 20 years old. I couldn't. I wish I could, but I couldn't. Um, so I was just listening to this, you know, um, one of the angels assigned to me, you know, as they were talking about what was it like when they were created. Because I never forgot. I wondered, like, and I, and I think I said to him, it's like, uh, you know, that was a, I, I wonder what it was like when y'all were created. And I was with a brother in Christ, and um, me and him, we watched this video. You know, we were hanging out, and we watched this video based off the Great One Heaven. And I'm going to post, and I'm going to try to post that too. Um, but um, he was getting visions, and I was hearing it. And it's like I was seeing it, and so was he. Um, and, it's just, and, I'm a, and this brother in Christ, I'm going to post his channel too. Um, but anyways, let me get into it. When I was talking to, you know, I was just listening to, you know, as I was just listening, you know, and I was asking, like, you know, one of the angels assigned to me, what was it like when you were created? And this is what, this is what she told me. And I share this with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is the beginning. You know, when, you know, when God created the angels... It was in the same way, like, no, no, when God created the angels, it was like, like, you know, you know how he would, you know, they were just like, after they were created, you know, and they would just look, they were like, oh, you know, it's like for them, it was like, oh, hello, hey, how are you? You know, I'm Jesus, I'm the one that, you know, I'm Father God, I'm the one that created you, you know, and your name will be, okay, you know, and, you know, and he placed this in them. And the angels had love for each other, you know, and it's like throughout the kingdom, they had love for each other and they would do, they would do the Lord's work. They even in heaven, you know, around this time, all to glorify Father God, you know, and um, that's why everything exists to bring glory to Father God. And, um, and when she was created, it was just like, you know, they, they were coming in the knowledge of knowing what things are like, you know, think of it in the sense when it came to Adam. Adam wasn't wasn't a baby when he was created. When he was created, it's like he was created from the dust, breathe and you know, breathe life into his body. And he's just, hey, hello, hey, you are Adam. I am the one that created you. I'm Father God. I created you. I'm your creator, you know. And um and when he created them, you know, that's how he create you know, that's you know, in the same way. That's how it was with the angels. And um and, the, you know, and the angels just like, oh, hello, my name, you know, and they would, you know, and they were just loving each other. Everything was cool, you know, and um, around this time, Lucifer, he was the, um, you know, he was the morning star. And it's like he was he was a leader. He was this. He was, you know, the Lord made him and he had access in and out of God's heart. Imagine you walk in God's heart and just commune with him. And, um. You know, all the angels was, was, you know, they just had love for each other. All the angels just had love for each other. And it was just love, you know, like, you know, and, um, and, you know, and when all the angels were created, it's like they were just loving each other. Like everything was cool. And 
Lucifer, he, you know, when he started seeing the, 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 the everything that go with him, he's like, man, you know, like, oh, I look good, or he's this, or he's that, you know, and he started, you know, pocketing some of the credit, the glory, because he started, you know, looking, you know, just looking at himself, like, hey, taking, you know, just, you know, and just looking at yourself, like, oh my gosh, yo, I'm just looking like, and, and it got to the point when he was like, hey, I want to, you know what, I want to take, I want to be higher than God. I don't want to take his throne, you know, and I want to take his throne. Like, I want to be higher than him. And when he got to that point, it's like he knew he couldn't do this by himself. He knew he couldn't do this by himself. So he started deceiving the angels. And, and I was getting visions of it, you know, as I'm receiving this. And it's like, hey, you know, you got, and... And me and the brother in Christ were getting visions of it at the same time. It was like, well, he was just like, he was deceiving the angel saying, hey, we could be gods. Don't you know we could be gods? We can govern of our own people. We could, you know, we could be gods to them. And so it's like, you know, Lucifer, he was a great leader. So he was, you know, he was, le you know, he was giving these people like, you know, he was giving the angels ideas. And some of them would, you know what I'm saying, side from them, like, yeah, I like this, you know, this, is, and some wouldn't. You know, those who, you know, who wouldn't, they're just like, you know, when they would hear these ideas, hey, I don't know about, this. you know, it's like, no about this, I don't think so, you know, it's like they wouldn't go with it, and some would. Because at this time, you know, you, th you know, and, and I realized, you know, this time, they didn't know what sin was. They didn't know what a lie was. They didn't know what deceit was. They didn't even know. The angels didn't even know. It's like when it came to Adam, you know, Adam just believed anything because he didn't know what a lie was. He didn't know what a lie was. He didn't know what deceit was. He didn't know what treachery was. He didn't know this. And, um, and in the same way, the angels didn't. You know, the angels didn't even know. And um, they didn't, you know, so and, and and it's like I never forgot when I was talking with one of, you know, one of the angels I know. And it's like they would just say to me, you know, I never forgot when I asked them, what's the hardest thing you ever had to do? And she named two things. One was when she had to fight her friends in the fall. Two is when she saw Jesus being crucified. She wanted to help, you know, the angels. You know, when they saw Jesus being crucified for us, man, when they saw Jesus die for us, being humiliated, tortured for us, they just, the angels just wanted to come and slay these dudes, just slam, slam, man, like a knife through bread, anything, just like a, like a knife through butter, man. They just wanted to slam. They just, you know, because, you know, not even giving them praise, but the angels to us, we're not even ants to them. Ants could probably bite you and irk you a little bit and then you mush it. We're not even that. You know, they just wanted to slay us because they watched the person that create them go through persecution. They watched the person that create them take on a great shame, you know, and they just want to slay, you know, but this needed to fulfill scripture. And, um, and say, you know, and the angels that were siding with Lucifer, they would come to their friends like, hey, you know, you know, Lucifer saying this, Lucifer saying that, you know, and, um, Lucifer saying we could be our own gods. Lucifer saying, you know, and and some angels like, nah, you know, um, nah, you know, they saying, you know, you know, that don't sound right. God wouldn't lie to, you know, God, that don't sound right. You know, you know, and just God saying he's not saying this to me. You know, and it got to the point where it's like the, you know, the angels that sided with Lucifer. They, you know, they didn't want to, you know, and it's like, and it was painful because imagine you created with, uh, you know, you created, you, you know, and next to you is an angel that, you know what I'm saying, you, you were created with, you know, it's like, oh, hey, you created, and then you meet an angel like, hey, my name is, um, uh, my name is, uh, Peter, or hey, my name is, um, uh, Lynn, or something, you, you get what I'm saying? They would just be, you know, and it's like, they would be friends, because they didn't know what conflict was. They didn't know what lie was. They didn't even know. And if you and those who sided with Lucifer, it's like, and this would bring friction between the angels. This would bring friction between the angels. 
And so where the angels would be like, you know, where the angels would be like, you know, you know, best friends, where angels would go from being best friends. Now it's like, hey, you know, you don't side with me when it comes to Lucifer sharing this. So it's like, you know, I don't know. I just want to hang with somebody who has shared the same views. And this is painful. Because, like, hey, you're my best friend. Yeah, but you don't think, you know, you don't share the same views that Lucifer has. You know, and this is painful. This is painful for them, you know. And um, and, and it's just like they were sharing, like, you know, and it got to the point where it's like one third of the angels were kicked out. And it's like it was slow. It was a slow, steady process. This process took years and years. This wasn't just a, hey, I saw it with Lucifer. Hey, I saw it with Lucifer. Show of hands. Who saw it with Lucifer? No. This took years. And, um... And so, it's like, it was painful. Because when they... You know, this is like, you know, imagine... You, you know, you look at somebody like, hey, you're my best friend, man. Why can't we hang together? Or oh, it's like those who side with Lucifer only hang with those who side with Lucifer. Those who, who are loyal to Father God, they stay with Father God. And, and, and this went on for years and years. I'm going to be honest with you. I would say thousands of years. Because one third, there were billions. I'd even say trillions of angels. In the kingdom of heaven. Heaven is humongous. Huge. And it's like you know. And it's like. And this process took. I'd say easily thousands. If not hundreds of thousands of years. You know. And um, where it's like. They would only side with those. You know. And it got to the point. Where it's like. When they said, you know what, man, you know, when Lucifer's like, hey, you know what, I want to take God's throne. You know, and he you know he's holding us back from being gods. We could be our own gods. You know, and it's like, and they believe in him. Because they didn't keep in mind. They didn't even know what a lie was. Imagine you're deceived and you don't know what a lie is. You don't know. And and it got to the point where it's like, when there was events, like those who sided with Lucifer will only hang with those who sided with Lucifer. And and it's like and this broke up friendships. Like, hey, you were my best friend. You were one of my best friends. Come on. You don't gotta you know, why is it like this? You know, and it's like, or if an angel of the Lord would come like, hey, we're friends, it's like not anymore. Kinda like, you know, and it, and this is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. And um and when it got to be to the point where it was a fight, this was not, when it came to the war in heaven, this was not a, a quick war in heaven, like a quick fight and the God just blows you out of the kingdom. No. And I was seeing it. This war took place throughout all of heaven. And this war took place for years. It wasn't a war that just took place for a couple of days and that's it. No. Or imagine, like, don't think of it like you see one side running and you see the other side running and it's war. No. It's like all throughout heaven, just war, just fighting all throughout heaven. And I was seeing there was this um, on the outskirts of heaven. It's like it was like a, a distance. And I was seeing it like from one plane to the other. It was a distance. And this distance was like, I say, like the size of a um, like the size of a, 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 a house. It was just like a distance, like a, a distance for redemption. I know that sounds weird, but really, because I know, you know, even with me saying this, you know, Adam and Eve, they didn't know what a lie was. Neither did they. And God knew that. And and, and before this war kicked off, God and Jesus, and Jesus, I never forgot when he told me, Raymond, I was pleading with those who signed up for Lucifer. They, he was pleading in their conscience. I'm plead, like, pleading, please don't do this. You're being deceived. What you hear from what you hear from Lucifer is not true. I'm telling you, and 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 the Lord was telling me, even Father God was pleading in His creation's conscience. Imagine, you know, whenever you hear Jesus pleading, or whenever you hear Jesus say this, or when, I never forgot. Sometimes when I would hear Jesus say to me about something about a woman that I, I, you know, it took me time to get over. He was saying to me, Ray, it was not my will. And if He didn't really sit and tell me it was not His will. I would have been just 
really, really depressed for the longest. Probably even would have started drinking. But the point is, it's like he was, Father God and Jesus was pleading in the conscience of the angels that were siding with Lucifer. Like, please, don't do this. And while this war happening, say, and it's like, and I was seeing it, say, an angel said, you know, you know, because, and, and the angels that were signed with Father God, this is painful for them, because these are their friends. These are their friends. These are their friends. Like, please, I love you. I was created next to you. I don't want to fight you anymore. Please. Just pleading. And those you know, and, and and there was like a distance of like, this distance was like, all right, I'm going to explain this. You know, say you saw that you wanted to repent or say you wanted to, hey, you know, Father God, I stand down. Or, you, you know, he would forgive you because, you know, I, I used to think that the angels, you know, they had this grand, super grand knowledge from the beginning that they did, but they didn't understand what sin was. They didn't understand what 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 you know a lie what they didn't even know man they didn't even know and at the time when I came across this they didn't even know imagine you you know you, you didn't even know you know like you get beaten you didn't even know I never forgot when I used to you know sometimes when I was a kid man I got beat and and it's like they just act like I knew, but I didn't know. You know, imagine you you, you didn't know. You know, stuff you, you you didn't know. Like I never forgot one time when I was a kid. Um, you know, I'm gonna get back to the angel conversation. When I, you know, I did something wrong, or I spent my money on something that I wanted instead of something that was needed, and I got penalized. And I was asking my sister for twenty dollars. I never forgot this. When my sister was like, she she did a thing where she would get interest like five dollars every week. That I, you know, you know, and I'm like, and in turn I end up giving her twenty seven, almost thirty dollars. But I never thought my sister would take advantage of me like that. You know, I, I never thought. You know, I didn't even know, because you thinking, hey, you know, I wouldn't take advantage of your family. You know, I didn't know. I didn't even know. You know that she was taking advantage of me. I didn't. You know, me and my sister ain't close, but I never forgot. I didn't even know. I didn't. And, um, but the, you know, um, and when the angels was like, you know, like, you know, say they stood down. It's like they would just help out those. It was a war. It was just like, hey, help us get the, you know, those who saw him with Lucifer who not going to break their, you know, you know, let's get them, you know, fight them out of here. And if you said, God, forgive me, he would forgive you. He's faithful in doing it, even for us. He's faithful in forgiving you. Jesus is faithful to forgive you. He don't care what your sin was. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Just call me to forgive you. I'll forgive you. I never forgot when he said, Ray, I don't care how embarrassed you feel. Call me to forgive you. I don't care. I don't care. Just call me to forgive you and I'll forgive you. And and it's like, and I was seeing it. And, um... And you know, and I was seeing this, you know, and um, and when I was seeing this, I didn't know what to say, you know, and and this and 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 this war took place for years. This was not a a, a couple a war for a couple days, a couple months, no, years, like a minute, and um, and the angels, man, it's like they was. You know, and it's like, there was this distance. I'm going to get back to this distance. It's like, you know, for redemption, it was like, uh, just say the size of a a, a yard or si something like that. And it's like, it's like when they were kicked out of the kingdom, they had this distance to repent. Like, you know, if you stand down in this distance, if you stand down, God will forgive you. You know, and I was seeing it. If you stand down, he will forgive you. It's as good as, you know, you, it's still a chance for redemption. But there was this force. When you get past this distance, if you're blasted out of this force, if you're blasted past, that's it. 
Like, you know, if a person dies, that's it. Like, if 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 I if someone just shot me and I didn't and I'm an atheist and they just shot me and 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 I die and it's like I look at my body and I say, Jesus, forgive. Me. He can't forgive me. That's it. When you was alive, that's it. And um. And 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 I want to get to this force. This force was like a a jet blast. And and this jet blast, when you were kicked out of the kingdom, it 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 was like this this flame. This this jet blast would just make you ugly, just blast you out, and you were blasted out of God's grace, and that's it. And um, cause it was one third, you know, and um, and and this and and the angels will fight, and it's like and. And and they would fight and fight and fight and fight, you know. And and when when it got to the when you got to this distance, it's like if you until this you get to this distance, you got a chance to repent. And if you don't, you blast it out, and that's it. You blast it from God's grace. You that's it. No chance. It's that's it. And um, you know it's too late, you know. And um. And so, when it got to, um, when it got to, uh, the point when they were blasted out of the kingdom, man, I didn't know what to say. Yeah, I was just listening and I was watching it. Imagine you looking beautiful as all get out and this force blasts you and make you ugly, make you, you know, you, every, you know, makes you evil, you know, and, um, and, and, and. And this war went on for years. And if you side up with God, you know what I'm saying? All right, you're going to side with him. It's like you help get out. the, you, you know, and you have a chance to repent. This war took place for years. I don't know the exact number of years. But years. And when it got to the point. When, 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 you know, when they were fighting and those who side with God, you know, it's like, you know, who repented. It's like, you know, who said, you know, I don't want to do this. I stand down. God forgave him and he's faithful and forgiven him. But those who didn't, those who were going to side with Lucifer all the way, they were blasted out of his kingdom. Just, and when they were blasted and so was Lucifer, he kicked out. And this force made you ugly. And I never forgot when, when they were kicked out, when they were kicked out, man. When they were kicked out, that was it. And imagine a force, this jet blast force so powerful you can't get past it. You can't get through it. You can't even imagine this. Um, um, imagine this force so powerful you couldn't, if you, you couldn't fight with everything, you couldn't even get close. That was it. And... And I was just listening to her share this, and I, and and Jesus was telling Jesus was showing me, as she was telling me. And after the war in heaven, there was no and I and I was seeing there was no celebrate. You know how you would see the 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 the, the victors. Like feel victorious, like yes, we won over our hated enemy. There was no, there was no celebration. It was just sadness because these were their best friends. The the winning side felt like the losing side because they lost their best friends, people they were real close with, people they cared about, people they loved. So heaven was. Quiet for a while, you know. Time for silly, you know, it was a time of sadness because these were their best friends. Imagine you used to play basketball. It's like, hey, you know, we get a three on three. Yeah, uh, Len was real good. You know, he could really guard you. You know, like yeah, you know, and it's a sad time because these were their best friends. These were their best friends. And when I was hearing this, man, it broke my heart. And when I heard this testimony, I never forgot when one of, you know, the angel that, you know, that I would talk with just that's assigned to me, you know, and I, and I just do stuff like, you know, I, um, you know, like whenever I eat, it's like I, 
I would do stuff like um like hey, you know, Lord Jesus, Father God, bless it where they have a heavenly burger from from Wendy's or something if I get something from Wendy's or Lord, you know, or I would just say, Father God, please bless it where your will for Jesus is a burger from Wendy's, a heavenly burger from Wendy's or something like that. Or I would say a prayer to Father God and I would say, May this prayer come to you on a plate, you know, because our prayer is a sweet incense to Father God. And I would say, May my prayer come to you on a plate, you know, come to you with a heavenly burger, you know, just stuff like that. You know, and, um, but I never forgot when I would hear her say, you know, when I was listening to this one testimony, you know, I would hear her say, that demon, before she was a demon, she was, uh, you know, she was an angel. And she was one of my best friends. When I felt the sadness, when I listened to this testimony, when I just listened to it, I felt the sadness. And um, and Jesus was saying, Raymond, that was my sadness and the sadness of the angels. Because his sadness came over me like I could have cried. <laughs> because Lucifer, man, what he's been lying, he... he See, he lies to he lies to everyone. He'll tell you what you want to hear, and he ain't been doing that just with you, just with us, brothers and sisters in Christ, just with people in this world. He been doing that to the angels. He hates them, and they hate him in turn. I never forgot one time. I was um. I never forgot. This was like, I think a year ago. I was sleeping and, 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 and I seen in the distance, I seen in the distance, you know, like this, this, this giant demon kind of pacing like it was worrying about something. And Jesus told me, Raymond, that demon had a deadline to meet. And he was trying to get you to, and Jesus was telling me he was trying to get you to have a day or have a time where you didn't repent. You know, and, and when you repented, it's like he knew, you know, he had a deadline to meet to get, send a build up on you. He had a deadline to meet. And if he wasn't, he was going to get scorned. He was going to get tormented. Satan torments them. Torments everyone. He don't care. Brothers and sisters in Christ, when I was listening to this testimony, my heart hurt because imagine, you know, and I don't feel sorry for no demon. But imagine, and I think of us as brothers and sisters in Christ. No, I think of Adam and Eve when they didn't even know what a lie was. You know, I never forgot. I would talk with Jesus and he would tell me, Ray, you know, in heaven, it's like they, they want to meet you. You know, like Adam and Eve. I'm like, you know, they, they you know, we're okay. You know, you know, I'm like, I heard, you know, and they're like, and he was telling me, having that, they're happy. But when they know of all the evil that goes on in the world. They get sorrowful because they think to themselves, all from us eating from the forbidden tree. They didn't even know what a lie was. They didn't even know. Brothers and sisters in Christ, um, I just wanted to share, you know, more about the origins of the great war in heaven. Because when I would look up videos or stuff, it's like sometimes they didn't get on everything. You know, from a man's standpoint, it just looked like, hey, angel sided with Lucifer, and he got kicked out. That was it. Boom. Like, last of the day, that was it. God just kicked him out. He knew who they were and kicked him out. No. The whole process leading up to the war in heaven took years. The war in heaven took years. And that's, and what I share to you is partial and incomplete. What I share, like, you know, when Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, it's like one of my favorite chapters. You know, all that I know now is partial and incomplete. When you come home to the Father God and Lord Jesus, you will get the full explanation to that. You will get the full and you will see it for your own eyes. Because I was seeing it. Brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's just focus on Jesus the best we can. You know, and I want to tell you this, brothers and sisters in Christ. Whenever the Lord shares something with you, 
don't be scared to share it. Like with this, what I share right now, I don't care if someone doesn't like this or doesn't agree. All I need to do is share it. Those who will accept it, accept it. Those who don't, don't. But it's you know, I share this this parable. You know, the three servants in chapter twenty five in Matthew. When the servants, you know, you know, he had entrusted with five. There was one servant he entrusted with five bags of gold. Two he entrusted with the second. You know. And one to the last, and dividing it in proportion to their abilities. The servant who received the five bags of gold began to immediately went to went right to work and and soon doubled his money. The servant with the two bags of gold also went right to work and doubled the money. And the servant with the one bag said he hid his master's money for safekeeping. When the master came back from his trip, he called in his servants. And asked them to give it, you know, give an account of how he used their money, you know, his money. The servant with the five bags says, Sir, you gave me five bags of gold to invest, and I doubled the amount. And the master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithfully in handling this small amount, so now I'll give you many more responsibilities. Come, let's celebrate together. The servant with the two bags, Sir, you gave me two bags of gold to invest, and I doubled the amount. The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful in handling this small amount, so now we'll give you many more responsibilities. Come, let's celebrate together. But the servant with the one bag said, Sir, I know you're a hard man, harvesting crops you didn't plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. I was afraid I'd lose your money, so I hid it in the earth, and here it is. And the master replied, You wicked and lazy servant. You think I'm a hard man, do you? Harvesting crops I didn't plant and gathering crops I didn't cultivate. Well, you could have at least put my money into a bank where I could have collected some interest. Take the money from this useless servant and give it to the one with the five bags. To those who use well what they're given, even more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But to those who are unfaithful, what little they have will be taken away. Now throw this useless servant in out of darkness. There will be weeping where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Don't be scared to use what Father God gives you, brothers and sisters in Christ. And the reason why I share that, because many brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord gives you something and you treat them like, hey, Jesus, nothing personal. But you be sending bros to hell. It's like you be sending people to hell. I was afraid I was going to do wrong with what you gave me, so here's what you gave me back. You know how offended, how offended Jesus would be? Let you look at him like that, like, you know, just really? You know how offended he would be? Now you just look at him like, yo, Jesus, nothing personal. You be sending people to hell. I was afraid I'd do wrong by what you give me, so I ain't do nothing with it. You know how you know how offended he would be. Many ways, when we die, Jesus, when we see him, he asks us, What do you have to say for your life? That's when you share. You gave me two five bags. I doubled. Two bags. I doubled. One bag. Hey, I just dug a hole. As I share that, you know, I wasn't going to bring this up, but I share this one vision I had, and it was when I came back to Virginia. When I was praying to Jesus, and, and, and it was a vision I got, and I was just praying to him, and I had this vision. I was in heaven, and I was amongst them. You know, and I was just, you know, I had these visitations with heaven where it's like, but anyways, um. I never forgot I had this experience where I said to Jesus, you know, you gave me two bags. I was standing in front of him. He said, I said to him, you gave me two bags of gold and I doubled the amount. And in this vision, Jesus said, that's not so. And I got on my knees in front of him. And then he, as he was looking at me, he turned around, he turned around and he looked. And when I looked at what he was looking at. I saw I bought him a small, I saw I bought him like, um, like um, a fortune. When I say fortune, like if you ever seen anything about Aladdin, it's like when, when he first get into the cave of wonders, when he sees like just the, the gold, just, just, just everything. That's what it was like. And he was showing me what I bought him. If he gave me two bag, he gave me two bags of gold to invest, and I gave him a fortune. I bought back a fortune. 
that's to encourage you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Because, you know, I, whenever I share what I share, when you when you have the heart like, hey, you know, I don't care how it looks. I want to serve you, Jesus, and I want to do right by you. I don't care what people think. You immediately go on to work, and you immediately begin to work. You know what I'm saying? You double your money. Because Jesus sees that. He sees you trying the best you can. Like, Jesus, I'm doing the best I can for you. I don't want to give you no no nothing. I just want I mean, I don't want to give you no excuses. No, hey, you're a hard man. I just want to do the best I can with what you give me. And he sees that. He sees your heart. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I wanted to share that with you. Be blessed and encouraged. This is spiritual meat, man. Be blessed by this. And I want to post a video. In this video, I mean, when I post my video, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to talk about the war in heaven. And I also, you know, it's an, and it's also this testimony when this demon was speaking through this, you know, this demon was speaking through this girl. And this demon was talking about, you know, why did I listen to Lucifer? Why did I listen to him? Why, you know, and she, and, and, and it was going off. I used to be an angel. I used to be beautiful. I used to be this. And when I was hearing it, it just... I couldn't do no more but just listen to it and repent. Brothers and sisters in Christ, listen to this. Repent. Listen to this. You know, this isn't a praise no angel. This ain't a, it's certainly a uh, praise no unclean spirit nor the enemy. Awful Father God and Lord Jesus. Because in many ways, a lot of you, you know, you know, you, you know, you know, people, you know, me and my brother in Christ were talking about this earlier this day or, or, or yesterday when he was saying, you know, a lot of people, you know, they don't know when they're going to die. You know, some people may be fortunate where they know they're going to die and it's like this, but most people don't know. It could be a gun blast, a car accident or this or that. You choke, you anything. So repent. Brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, that, that are still beginning or just beginning your walk. Pray to Jesus. Fast to Jesus. Call me. I'll fast and pray with you. You know, I hope this encourages you. Y'all be blessed.